Hello and welcome to this video where I will explain what is backend for frontend, or BFF, and why you might want to use it in your web development projects. BFF is an architectural pattern that aims to create a backend service that is tailored for a specific frontend application or client. For example, you might have a web app, a mobile app, and a third party integration that all need to access your backend services. Instead of having a single, general purpose API backend that serves all these clients, you can have a separate BFF for each one that provides the optimal API and data structures for each client's needs. To the technical right, let's understand the BFF pattern with a simple real world example. Imagine you're the manager of a pizza place and you have different ways people order pizzas through a website, a mobile app, and a cool new voice command system for smart speakers. Now, instead of having one menu that tries to please everyone, you decide to create a special menu for each way people order. Web app pizza menu, you make a menu just for people ordering on the website. Maybe it's visually appealing with lots of pictures and details because people on the web like to see everything. Mobile app pizza menu, for those ordering through the mobile app, you create a different menu. It's simpler, loads super fast, and has big buttons because people on their phones want things quick and easy. Voice command pizza menu, for the folks using voice commands, you have a menu that's all about speaking and listening, short, clear, and easy to understand. Now, each ordering method gets its own special treatment, like a backend for the frontend, BFF, pizza menu. Instead of everyone dealing with the same menu, each way of ordering gets the perfect menu for its needs. That's what BFF is all about, giving each frontend, or ordering method, exactly what they want making everyone happy and the pizza ordering experience awesome. Why would you want to do that? Well, there are several benefits of using BFFs, such as Improved performance, by having a BFF, you can reduce the number of network calls, the amount of data transferred, and the processing time on the client side. For example, a BFF can aggregate data from multiple downstream services, filter out unnecessary fields, and transform the data into a format that is easy for the client to consume. This can be especially useful for mobile clients where network latency and bandwidth are more limited. Reduce dependencies. By having a BFF, you can decouple the front end from the back end and avoid exposing the implementation details of your back end services to the client. This way, you can change your back end services without breaking your front end, and vice versa. You can also evolve your front end and back end independently and release them at different paces. Enhance flexibility. By having a BFF, you can customize the API and data for each client and provide different features and functionality for different user experiences. For example, you might want to offer different capabilities for a desktop web app versus a mobile app or for a third-party integration. You can also experiment with different versions of your API and data and test them with different clients. So how do you implement BFFs? Well, there are different ways to do that depending on the technology stack, team structure, and business domain. But here are some general guidelines that can help. Think of BFF as a part of front-end, not back-end. BFF should be tightly coupled to a specific user experience and should be maintained by the same team as the front-end. This way, you can define and adapt the API as the front-end requires, and simplify the process of releasing both the client and the server components. Keep BFF focused and small. BFF should only handle the concerns that are specific to the client, such as aggregation, filtering, transformation authentication, logging, etc. BFF should not contain any business logic or domain knowledge as that should be delegated to the downstream services. To summarize, BFF is a pattern that can help you create a back-end service that is optimized for a specific front-end application or client. It can improve the performance, reduce the dependencies, and enhance the flexibility of web development projects. It can also help you align back-end services with front-end requirements and create more modular, scalable, and efficient systems. The backend for frontend is commonly used in microservices architectures, where you have multiple backend services that are owned by different teams. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more.